Welcome back. Problem 6-194. This problem is taken from chapter number 6, Bending and book name is Mechanics of Material by R.C. Hibbler. So statement is the strut, strut has a square cross section A by A and is subjected to bending moment applied at an angle theta as shown. Determine the maximum bending stress in term of A, M and theta. What will be the angle theta with give you the largest bending stress in stress? specify the orientation of neutral axis for this case so this is a square strut having side a by a and is applied with a movement clear at an angle theta from this z axis so you have to find the maximum bending stress in term of a m and theta you have to find theta for the larger bending stress and you have to determine the neutral axis for this case so let's start with the solution so you can see that this movement is applied an angle theta from this axis so it will have if we resolve it into two components so it first component will be this one and this component will be this will be like this this component will be equal to m cos theta and that will be minus because it is opposite to z and similarly it will having a vertical component like this so this will be equal to again this will be minus m sine of theta because it is opposite to y clear and this will be in this direction so if i write it over here so this will be the vertical component will be like this so vertical component will be like this minus m sine theta now let this is your point a we will have specify these two points and this is point b so you can see this is z axis and this is y axis so this is movement about z so i will write it is equal to m z and this is movement about y axis clear so it is movement about y so due to movement about z clear this is like this uh, this will be like this causing this surface to bend like this where the upper portion this point a will be in tension and due to this movement about y it will also cause it to bend like this so you can see point a is in uh, it point a is the position where we will have maximum bending stress so we will find this bending stress so we will write this mz is equal to minus m cos of theta and this my will be equal to minus m sine of theta we will find section properties which is the second moment of inertia for this strut and this moment second moment of inertia i about y axis is equal to i about z because this is square strut strut so we have 1 over 4 1 over 12 bh cube bh cube so b is a and h is also a so 1 over 12 a power 4 so this is 1 over 12 a power 4 now for maximum bending stress i will write the formula maximum bending stress as i have already discussed that maximum bending stress will be at point a so it will be at point a so what is the formula for now the stress that will be due to this movement about z axis and due to movement about y axis will the combination of both this so i will write stress is equal to first due to movement due to z movement about z so i will write minus m into z multiply by y divided by i double z or i z and minus m into y into z divided by i y y you can see for this case this is movement about z axis 
clear so this vertical distance we know that the stress due to this will be equal to moment into y into distance so this distance is in y direction that that is why we have taken this i and i is about z axis similarly for this you can see that this is the moment m y and the, this distance is in long z direction so i about this y axis clear so that is why this formula now we'll expand this so we will write minus m z is minus m cos theta so minus m cos of theta what is y since point a is in positive direction of y so it will be equal to this total distance is a clear so this will be equal to a by 2 so i will write a by 2 divided by iz is 1 over 12 a power 4 minus this moment about y is m minus m sine theta so i will write minus m sine theta into into this distance which is also again a by 2 from this y axis uh, from y axis okay so i will write into a by 2 divide by 1 over 12 a power 4 so again when you solve this you will get sigma is equal to 6m over a cube into cos of theta plus sine of theta which is the um, maximum bending stress in term of a m and theta so this is the answer of our first part now we'll find the second part in which we have been asked to find the theta for the largest so if we take the derivative of d o d sigma over dt and make it to zero so you will get the angle so let take the take d sigma over d theta in equation one our answer of 1 so you will get d sigma over d theta will be equal to uh, 6m over a cube a cube into d over d theta into cos theta plus sine theta so from here you can see that this d theta d sigma over d theta should be equal to 0 so 0 is equal to 6m over a cube and derivative of cos theta is minus sine theta clear uh, d cos theta derivative of cos theta is minus sine theta plus derivative of sine theta is cos theta and from here you will get cos of theta minus sine of theta is equal to 0 clear and theta will be equal to 45 degree why because cos theta is equal to sine theta so if i divide sine on both sides so cos on both sides so you will get 1 is equal to sine theta divided by cos theta so we will get sine theta over cos is equal to tangent of theta is equal to 1 so if you take theta is equal to tangent inverse of 1 so you will get 45 degree which is the answer of our second part and in last part we have to define the orientation of neutral axis so for that we have formula that tangent of alpha is equal to iz over iy into tangent of theta since iz and iy is 1 over 12 a power 4 into divided by 1 over 12 a power 4 and tangent of 45 degree so this will cut with this and we will left with tangent of alpha is equal to tangent of 
45 degree so alpha is equal to 45 degree which is the orientation of neutral axis for this case so if i draw the orientation of neutral axis so it will be like this at 45 degree you will take the orientation so this is alpha which is equal to 45 degree and that was all about this problem 6-194 i hope you have enjoyed this video and you have learned from it those who are new to my channel then subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you can get notification about my latest videos if you have any question you can ask me in comment section thank you for watching